Hello there guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Joomla on your server. Okay then, so Joomla is a, um, a free, it's open source. Um, application that you can install on your server and basically you can build uh, very very powerful websites out of it uh, and best thing is it's free so um, what you need to do is um, in this video I'm using my Mac but the same goes for for Windows um, I will I will be installing it on a Windows server rather than on a Mac server because it's difficult on a Mac um, so what you need to do is go ahead and click on download um, this will download files which are much like the ones here. Uh, one sec. Uh, that's where they are, they're going to find it. Um, here. And all these files will be um, in, in a zip file when you download them. You need to extract them. And they basically need to go into a um, folder on the server. Now you must have IIS installed um, or an equivalent software. For this uh, video I'm using IIS so um, what you need to do is I'm just going to show you where the server gone. Okay if we just pop back to here as you can see I'm going to install it on this server um, and basically if we just go into INET pub and we're going to be installing it into the Joomla 2 folder here um, and that is what I've got open here, that empty folder there. So I'm just going to be copying it to here. Um, wrong thing. Okay, let's move that there. So you need to select everything and copy them all into the Joomla 2 folder. Now you can call this folder what you want. Uh, as you can see, that's going into there, it's creating them in, in here as well. Because uh, it's the same folder, and it'll take just a, a few seconds for it to copy the data over. Okay, so once that's copied over, what you'll need to go and do, uh, there we go, it's finished now. So we don't need this folder anymore. So this is the folder that it's installed in. Uh, this is this folder here. Um, what we need to go ahead and do is we need to create a um, a SQL instance, uh, a SQL table rather. For the for the Joomla to install uh, its database in. So at the minute we need to use uh, MySQL. That's free. Um, the link is in the description below. And what we need to do once we've got the uh, workbench installed, we need to go on to the uh, local instance. Uh, and these are the databases that I've got already in here. Okay, so. To create a new uh, database, we need to click on this one here, which is create new schema. And we're, for now, we're going to call that Joomla 2. Although you, this is probably going to want to match your websites that you're creating. And finish. So you can see it's now appeared in here. So we can now minimize that. Um, let's pop back to it actually. Um, so obviously now we've got that in there. We now need to go into IIS. I'm using version 7. Um, uh, we just refresh this. And we'll see that um, there's a folder that appears uh, here. Joomla 2 which is a folder that we've created in the WW root. And basically what we need to do is we need to convert this to an application. Uh, we're going to use the default app pool uh, the physical path there. So we can test the settings. Um, we need to click connect as. This is an optional thing but I would like um, for this video to use the um, account to get the uh, permissions so it can actually access the server. So if we click OK, test settings, it's now saying it's authenticated. Click OK. 
so now we can just minimize this head over to the internet and we type in into the search bar um, the name of the server in which case is storage one for me uh, if you're installing it on a website you'll need to go to the website name.com um, forward slash the name of the application you installed it in um, so that in this case is Joomla 2 and it will automatically load up um, uh, an installation page where you can click on the United Kingdom if you're from the United Kingdom uh, select where you're from and click next and you need to just make sure that all these say yes uh, that's basically saying that it's got permission to access databases and files and such like okay um, now we click on next go ahead and read the uh, public license which is this uh, license to use Joomla because it's free next and basically what we need to do is we need to click on the database type which is MySQLi and in the host name in here type in localhost so that is on your own server if that's on a remote server you type in the address there uh, the username password and the name of the uh, database okay and then click next FTP that's an optional setting that I'm not going to go into now next and site name we're going to call Joomla test for now uh, your email address in there uh, username password um, start that in here so this is the um, for admin access okay and next and it will say please remember to remove the uh, installation folder completely uh, you can click that but I'm on a Mac and it won't do that at the minute um, so we hit the administrator button this is now running on the server so the admin uh, username and the password that you specified before to log into the administration page and from here we have obviously the different options that we can pick from now um, I will be going through the administrator panel in a different video um, for now I'm going to show you um, how to install it which I've done um, obviously you can view the site by clicking the view site button there we go that's the default uh, template um, and yeah so um, please like, rate, comment and subscribe please check out the next video which will be on the administration panel and um, please check out my forums if you have any issues um, also please go to the support page if you want to get direct support from one of the moderators uh, one of the forum staff uh, by going at benstechtips.co.uk forward slash support and obviously that means that the web address for the forums are benstechtips.co.uk okay so thanks for watching